Hey folks, here comes the update you've all been waiting for about the Bigfoot Peeper case of 2020. Now I'm calling it the Bigfoot Creeper. Just watch along and we'll tell you why. This story begins in the year 2020 when a gentleman who shall remain nameless, we don't want to get in any YouTube trouble, decides to hit Facebook and submit pictures of a Bigfoot peeping in a window. And we call it the Bigfoot Peeper case. Let's listen to his story, how he just conveniently had a pocket camera sitting there waiting for him. And then there it was at the window. He smelled this smell, looked out the window, and there it was. So he grabbed the camera that's sitting next to him in his easy chair, and he starts to film it for eight minutes. And then his wife comes in, and she screams, and then all of a sudden he decides to go and get his gun. Why didn't you do that in the first place? Why do you now do you need to get the gun? And then he claims his wife called the sheriff's department. The coup de grace is the video was lost in a fire at his mother's house. Kind of like the dog ate my homework. Having these suspicions, I decided to do my homework. And what I found was shocking. I discovered the person propagating this Bigfoot tale was a convicted child molester. I also discovered he does doesn't own property in Colorado. More to the matter of the fact, he resides in an urban area of Colorado. This was clearly a hoax and we declared it such and covered it in episode 24 of the Squatch TV podcast with guest Ben Radford. After being outed in 2020, he again started making posts to Facebook and emails to various groups, again affirming his Bigfoot photos and burned up video. He was posted on How to Hunt in August of 2020 and on the Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization site a month later. Once again, giving it traction. I was quick to squelch it, at least on Facebook. It's too bad they don't do their homework on these stories they receive. While searching TikTok one day, I came across the paranormal chick on TikTok who somehow had gotten a hold of the actual video. After reaching out to her, I found out that Rocky Mountain Sasquatch, uh, pardon me, Sasquatch had admitted it was fake and posted the video just on Facebook as far as I can tell. They claimed the video had come from a deleted YouTube page by the name of Ron Boy. Apparently the creeper took screen caps and then began to circulate the story as his own. So here now we show the self-admitted CGI film. Oh, and by the way, it's only 20 seconds long, not 8 minutes. And that's another one in the books. I guess it's on to the next one, I suppose. Well, if you like our content here, smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Hit that notification bell and visit our SquatchDetective.tv site, which is a website dedicated to this channel. We'll catch you all real soon. And thanks for swinging by.